it's Melanie and today I'm going to be showing you how I made these DIY mini scrunchies. If you guys were wondering, I do already have a video up on how to make regular scrunchies, but I did use a little bit of a different technique for this, so I figured I would just show you guys. To begin with the supplies, I first bought some fabric from my local Joann's. You will also need some scissors, needles, elastic, this is one fourth of an inch, some thread, tweezers, and a safety pin. To begin, you're just going to take your fabric and I cut it to the dimensions of 2 inches by about 21 inches. Then you're just going to want to cut a piece of elastic pretty much as long as you want it. So I just measured it around my wrist which was about 6 or 7 inches. Then I took my fabric and I folded it inside out so that the pattern is facing inwards and then I'm using my sewing machine to just sew a straight stitch down the entire length of this and this is something you could definitely do by hand or with glue but I just used a sewing machine because I had one. So this is what the hem looks like as you can see and I just trimmed off the excess. From there I just tied a knot on both sides. Then I just took my pair of tweezers and this is kind of hard to describe but basically I'm flipping the fabric inside out. This is kind of a tedious process but it goes by pretty quick and using tweezers is a big help. So as you can see I'm just using those to reach in there and fold the fabric inside out. Oh, oh. Once you've completed this process, you should be able to see the right side of your fabric. And now you're just going to want to take your elastic and your safety pin and just thread the safety pin through the end of your elastic. Then while holding one end of the elastic, you're going to want to start to thread the safety pin through the little tube of fabric that we just sewed. So basically you're going to be scrunching this fabric and the safety pin will just be really helpful in this process. Once the safety pin comes out the other side and you've threaded the entire length of fabric through the elastic, you're just going to want to close that with the safety pin just to make sure that it stays secure. And then I just threaded a little length of thread through my needle. Now I took the safety pin off and basically just sewed the two ends of the elastic together. This really doesn't have to be pretty at all because it will be covered up. You just want to be secure with it. Once this is secure, I just left the thread in, but basically I started to push one side into the other, which is kind of hard to describe, but you can see it being done here. Now once they are fully connected as seen here, I just take the thread and did a quick straight stitch across here to close it off and finish it off. Finish that off with a knot and you are finished with your mini scrunchie. All you have to do is kind of stretch it out just to make sure that it's evenly distributed and you are all done. Oh, 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 oh.